these caddies right here, man. These some of mine. This is another super slept on shoe, man. It's like me. I'm all about like when I get shoes, man. I like them because of you know the features and all that stuff. And this shoe really like kind of you know took me by surprise because of the fact that you know what I'm saying the whole the whole bottom of the shoe glows. You know, then on top of that, you know, the Nike symbol glows. Pretty much all this glows and all that. You know, all this is 3M. You know what I'm saying? And they came with some uh, some all 3M laces. And then on top of that, man, you just got, um, you know, they came with this card, man. Little all-star card, little gumbo card or whatever. And for me, like these... These probably some of my little, some of the double shoes I got to me. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just in my opinion, you know. But, yeah, man, these, they definitely some of the best ones for me, man. Because they got all that New Orleans in here. You know what I'm saying? Show everything about New Orleans. And it's because of the All-Star game was in New Orleans last year and whatnot. So, you know, these, these were definitely some of the favorites for me. Okay. So, out of your whole collection, what is your most favorite pair? Um, I mean, that's hard to say because I got a lot of, you know, a lot of things that I'm very like, you know, that I really like love and that's, that's like some of my shoes. But if I had to just pick one, man, we going to say, um, hmm, the breads are one of my favorites. They're one of my favorites, the bread 11. But if I had to say one of my, my favorite right now, man. I would I would have to go with man probably these these semen threes man these are probably like my my number one right now and as you see you know I've been wearing them see the little cracking but whatever you know what I'm saying but yeah for me these these is the ones man like, you know what I'm saying and the reason why I really like like these shoes when they came back out is because of the fact that you know what I'm saying the the leather and the materials of it, man. This is like some like some premium leather right here, man. And you know, it kind of remind me of like some some super designer shoes, like Gucci's or something like that, man. Cause like even though you see a little crease in them, as soon as you put them in, crease disappears, man. I mean, crease disappears as soon as you put them on. So for me right now, as you see, I've been wearing them too, man. Cause these are like my favorites, man. I gotta give me another pair, but out of all of them, these these are definitely probably the ones for me. Some of the ones that I haven't showed you uh, yet. Um, definitely for me, for these, these right here, these are, you know what I'm saying, pretty like some of my favorite. And the reason why I say that is because like, you know what I'm saying, of course, it's an Allen Iverson shoe or whatever. And, uh, but the thing that really make them like, like, you know what I'm saying, make me like them is the fact that, you know, got this, uh, limited tag or whatever and every pair is numbered you know what i'm saying and these are pretty much like uh um, his uh what they go oh his retirements they call them uh the banners you know what i'm saying that's what made me really like them and uh what we got here um these chicago tens they're also some of my favorites you know just because you know this was uh og colorway you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, I really like the 10s because of, you know, this little lace lock system and all that. And, you know, they good to hoop in pretty much. So these were like some of my favorites too. Um, next, uh, we got these LeBrons, the Cannons. Uh, I got these shoes, you know, because of course I like the shoe itself, you know what I'm saying? But on top of that, you know, I was just digging the colorways and, you know, these were like, uh, you know, the crazy colorway with the orange and the couple colors of type of green with the vote green and all that. So, 
you know, and then it kind of reminded me of uh, the Miami Hurricanes too. So, you know, that was one like one of my favorite college teams growing up. So I had to have these. Okay, so give me your outtake on the sneaker game itself today. Like, why does it? Why does people always give sneakerheads a negative look just because they like to buy shoes? Um, I think the reason why you know a lot of sneakerheads get a negative outlook is because you got you know a lot of guys that's really in this in the sneaker game. They they priorities aren't you know what I'm saying they aren't that good or whatnot. Like you got guys like you know you got a guy that he'll be in line to buy shoes or something like that every week, but he might not have a car. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen guys get on the bus with shoes and stuff like that. And I don't knock nobody. Cause every, I feel like everybody's entire, entitled to get shoes, you know right. what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, you know, some, some guys' priorities are, you know what I'm saying, are messed up. And then on top of that, you know, um, I mean, I think it's all about what you think is important in life. You know what I'm saying? Because some people... Like me, I don't knock nobody's hustle when it comes to the sneaker game or this, this, and that. You know, you got people that stand outside for hours. You got people that, you know, buy bots and buy the ATCs and all that stuff like that. And I don't knock it, you know what I'm saying? But I think another reason why the sneaker game is kind of like, you know, people like look kind of like look down on it is because, you know, they, they don't really know the culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that's just like, you know... For 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 a sneakerhead, you know, waiting in line for a couple hours is like it, it's nothing for us because it's something that we like to do and it's you know we take pride in it. But for someone like you know like a woman that's not really into sneakers or a guy that's not really into sneakers, of course he's gonna look down at it like uh you know look at those fools outside and they this they, they that they this they that you know what I'm saying that's because he doesn't understand it you know but I understand it so you know. It, it, it's cool for me. How long you been collecting them? Um, I really been a sneakerhead and into sneakers like my whole life. You know what I'm saying? It started when I was like, uh, I'm gonna say maybe like ten, because I had a lot of older cousins that was like for real, for real sneakerheads. Like they they was crazy about them back in the day when you know it wasn't that hard to get sneakers and all that. You know they had everything. And my dad, he also, you know, he, he bought me everything, too. So that kind of, like, got me into the game. And then as I, as I got older, man, it was like, you know, when I started being able to bond for myself and, you know what I'm saying, I kind of really just found myself just almost like buying everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because back then, you know, you had forces and Air Max and, you know what I'm saying, you had everything. But I really didn't start appreciating them. Until once I got a little bit older, I'm gonna say around like like I'm 27 now. I'm, I want to say probably probably about like 22, 21, 22. That's when I really started appreciating everything. Really start kind of like taking care of the collection and stuff like that. Cause it was time that I used to look back and I'd be like, damn, like I spent, you know, uh, ten thousand dollars on shoes this year, and I don't or I spent five to ten thousand dollars worth of shoes this year, and all of them messed up. You know what I'm saying? So I. So that's what kind of like made me get off into the sneaker game like that and start making me really like take time and start collecting them. Um, I mean, well, these these are my favorite shoes right here. My uh, the Jordan Elevens, the Bread. These are my like my if I was to say my number one Jordans, these would be the ones. And uh, it's not because of the high beats or nothing like that. These were just the dopest ones to me. You know what I'm saying and. I done probably had seven parodies in my whole lifetime. Like as you see, the last time I had to get two pairs just because they they were my favorite shoe. You know what I'm saying? And for me, these right here, these was everything. Like everything. I, I just have How just do you feel about the sneaker game as a whole today? Um I feel like uh it it could definitely be better, you know, but I, I think it's, I, I think all in the whole, like, it, it's nothing what it used to be, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, it's like when I first started doing this as a kid and as a teenager and stuff like that, you know, it you used, to just, you used to just be able to just pretty much just go into the store and, you know, buy shoes. But 
I think the reason why it's is declining is because you know nowadays you got got you got pretty much like the whole hype beast thing and stuff like that. You know, you got a lot of shoes that are more hype than the way they actual look. Like you know, because me like a guy like me, I buy what I like. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I wear all my things. I, I buy what I like. You know what I'm saying? And you got a lot of guys that pretty much just they buy everything because of maybe like the popularity of the shoe or you know, or or who who wore it first or whose shoes they are and and stuff like that. And then on top of that, you know, you got you know, all this stuff like uh with the new the bot things and stuff like that. Like that 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 really irritates me. You know what I'm saying? Cause that that really like takes the the fun out of, you know, like the sneaker game, stuff like that, because you know, you want a guy to pay retail for the shoes and then, you know, well, 90% of the times you really can't get them if you're trying to order them, you know, because you got guys that, you know, they want to make bots and stuff like that. And if you guys don't know, a bot is pretty much like a, it's like a code on a computer that pretty much carts all the shoes for people, you know, but you got to pay for it, you know, so pretty much on top, I mean, I mean, so pretty much it's like you got to buy the bot, which is usually, um, uh, you know, thirty to fifty dollars, or even some are even a hundred, depending on the actual shoe. You know, so you gotta buy that, and it's not even guaranteed all the time. You know, and then on top of that, you gotta pay retail for the shoe. And it's like, you know, these guys that's you know, they're, they're trying to really get over on the real sneakerhead guys. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, people got bills and all that type of stuff to pay, so people can't really pay three, four hundred dollars a shoe every time they come out or. Two hundred dollars a shoe. So you got all these guys that they go in and get these bots. You know they'll go buy ten pair, twenty pair. Some even go buy thirty pair. You know what I'm saying? Then try to sell them back to the real sneakerhead. You know what I'm saying? And that they usually pay retail or whatnot. And for me, like you know that it's kind of deteriorating. And then you know you also got guys that doesn't even like. You'll find a guy in the mall that doesn't even like the sneaker. But he'll buy it because he know that it's a popular sneaker just to sell it and make some money off of it. And it's like those type of guys, those are the type of guys that mess up the sneaker game. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I'm digging the shoes that's coming out right now. They're, they're cool, you know. I wish uh, Jordan would kind of like stay a little bit more original with his colorways and stuff like that, you know. So, but I mean, I guess, hey, it's new culture, new year, new shoes. So, I mean, it's all cool. Oh uh, yeah, these 13s right here, out two 13s. These are some of my favorite too. These are uh, a 2010 release, man. I got, I actually got a crazy story about these too, man. I um, I have been looking for these shoes like for so long, man, because I had like kind of like missed out on them when they first came out, and uh, I ended up going to this, going to a sneaker store or whatnot, and the dude. I had bought like three pairs of shoes that same day or whatnot. And the dude was like, uh, I got something for you. Brought out a pair of cherry 13s or whatnot. And I was like, uh, like how much? He gave me a great deal on them. He was like, hold on, I got something else for you. And brought these out. And I just had to have them, man. It's crazy because the retail on these shoes were $160. The guy ended up giving me these and the Cherry 13s for 310 man, for retail. And it was like a month after they came out, man. All right, what's good, everybody? This is uh, Mike Conley, AKA No Mike's Allowed. And uh, sitting right here in the, in the living room of Jay's, as Jumpman Bostic might say, uh, the basement of the Jay's. But uh, my basement is actually getting renovated right now. But a um, little bit about myself, um, 24 years old. My birthday was just last week. Um, I've been in the game actually for about approximately 10 years plus. Um, my favorite uh, favorite retro or Jordan is the Air Jordan Concord. It's a crazy story behind that actually. Um, least favorite possibly would be uh, maybe the 18s if I'm not mistaken. There's something about the shroud that I really don't really too much care for, but um started collecting uh about ten years ago. Um 
based off images of basketball, images of certain rappers, uh, the actual culture. I just went deeper into my actual knowledge of being a sneakerhead. I started off wearing a million Air Force Ones like everyone else would do. Uh, that's why I only got this one, one particular pair of Air Force Ones right here. Um, the actual Olympic Air Force Ones. I actually only wore this particular shoe once. So I have slight dirt on the bottom. It's no real different. Um, one thing I can tell you, me being a sneakerhead, I wear all my shoes. I do not keep anything dead stock. My thing is this, the more and more you keep them dead stock, the longer they're going to take to just break apart later on in years. It's kind of bad you break out a pair of 88 threes right now and they crumble on you. So don't really care too much about keeping the stuff dead stock. I might wait a little bit, but everything gets warm. Um, crazy story about the Concours is this is my actual pair. I actually do wear these. Um, close to dead stock, as you can see. If you see anybody with a pair cleaner than this, let me know. Um, crazy story is my dad actually owed me maybe the retail of these shoes before off of damaging a pair of boots of mine. And um, he didn't give me the money like he was supposed to. I was actually supposed to go camp out um, that night for him. And uh, he didn't give me the money. He actually called me the next morning and said, uh, <laughs> I was supposed to give you that money today, wasn't I? I said, yeah, man, it's all good, though. So I, it took me at max three years to find an actual complete pair of these. Um, it only took me a pair of Air Jordan 9s, Alas, and 30 bucks for them. Shout out to my homie Finkel, man. Good looking out, bro. Um, it's a lot of other stuff, man. And to me, being a sneakerhead is a, uh, it's not about one brand. A lot of people always ask me like, what, you know saying, your motivation on about sneakers and stuff like that. I actually look up to certain sneakerheads as far as in the game. Um, shout out to the perfect pair. Shout out to DJ Clark Kent. Shout out to Wale. Shout out to Chris Brown. Um, a lot of these people who I've just named are in it for the culture. Shout out to Greg Street. Um, major shout out to Greg Street. Shout out to Barbados. Um, Bobito. Uh, it must be the shoes. That's one person who I've been watching forever in the day. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's about the culture, man. It's about these people who were who were bigger in the image. So you had your Michael Jordans, you had your Barclays, you had your Hewings, you had your Cons, you had uh, your Grant Hills, your David Robinsons, your Cheryl Swoops. A lot of y'all sneakerheads claim y'all sneakerheads but don't understand that Cheryl Swoops actually had a shoe too. Uh, like I said, you got your stack houses, man. It's, it's, it's a different look. Every shoe has a different look to it. This is the Jerry Stackhouse, Fila Stackhouse 2. Um, one of my actual favorites uh, in the Stackhouse line, honestly. Um, this is the original Pistons color, the red, white, and blue. Um, major shout out to uh, Jerry Stackhouse as well, man. Um, every shoe just has a different look. It has a totally different look. Not all shoes are supposed to be Jordan. Not all shoes are supposed to be Air Force Ones. If that's the case, that'd be the only brand out. But. I like to take a different approach about it. Like I said, every shoe has a different. Shout out to Larry Johnson for the actual cons, man. This is one of my favorites in Converse. I don't really wear Chucks too much. Um, wasn't a pretty big fan on Chucks. They kind of hurt my feet. But um, I do actually like the cons. Shout out to Grandma Ma. Um, it's a pretty good shoe, man. What is your idea of the sneaker game as of today? As of today, I see a lot of hypebeats. A lot of people who don't collect because they love shoes. Like I said before, I wear all my shoes. I have people who I know that are quote unquote sneakerheads now who say, well, I got 40, 50 pairs dead stock. I'm like, why? I mean, there, there's no particular reason why you should have a million shoes dead stock. And I, I feel like a lot of people 
just want to get into it now because that's what's in now. I feel like if maybe 15 celebrities decide, oh, they want to bring back jerseys, now everybody wants to wear jerseys again instead of just doing it because it's you. Like I see a lot, it's, it's a lot of resale people here. That's why I, I, I kind of don't really care for the sneaker game here in Michigan. That's why I travel. I travel to all sneaker conventions. Um, I actually will be in, uh, I think it's bigger than sneakers. I think it's Cincinnati, um, June 13th. I'll be there. I just came from uh, Sneaker Con Cleveland, which was actually pretty dope. Um, it's a lot of resale people. A lot of people feel like everything has a dollar sign to it. True enough, if someone wants to come in here and say, hey, I give you $15,000 for everything you have. $15,000 at that point. Uh, this is my all-time favorite Iverson. A lot of people favorite Iverson is the questions because that's all they see. True enough, he did get Mike the shakes. I ain't gonna lie about that. And he actually did it in the Cherry 12s against him with the red toe cap uh, Iverson questions, which is a pretty, pretty awesome moment. But um, this is my favorite Iverson, period. And one of the reasons why this is my favorite Iverson, period, is because me and my dad had almost every colorway together with this shoe. And when they finally decided they was gonna re-release these, I was the first person at Champs to go buy these. The first, first, first person. And I, I honestly love this shoe. This shoe is still clean and crispy by the, by the way, and I've worn this shoe a million times. I've actually hooped in this shoe before, just to get the feel of Iverson. But everything to this shoe, the style, the comfort, it's a lot of leather to this shoe, and he actually broke it up with a contrast of patent leather on the tongue which actually spells out his name, Iverson. Great, 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 great shoe. I love Reebok for re-releasing these. Um, shout out to Reebok and Iverson for re-releasing my favorite pair of Iversons. I actually have this jersey right here, which I'm actually looking to find the black one. So if any of you guys have the black Iverson jersey to this, hit me up. I definitely will buy it from you. 